This is Roger with Crosscut in Tucson, Arizona. We're selling this truck as a 2006 Ford F-250. It's a four-door super cab, um, long bed, single rear wheel. Obviously, it's a three-quarter ton. Um, it's a 6.0 turbo diesel. It's four-wheel drive, and it's an XLT. It has 193,739 miles. It was a trade-in uh, or a lease return, one of the two. The truck's only leasing and sales in Phoenix. We buy a lot of vehicles from them. Um, they have trouble getting any kind of financing for uh, people who are buying over uh, for, for buyers when they're over a hundred thousand miles on the vehicle um, so uh, unfortunately for them they can't sell these but we can um, anyway we brought it here and this thing needed uh, valve cover gaskets they were a little leaky they weren't terrible but they were a little leaky too nice a truck for that uh, and the turn signals wouldn't cancel, so it got a new hazard flasher arm, whatever that means. Uh, our shop, Monsoon, has it. Has a, uh, a excellent shop. We take everything there, and uh, their uh, invoice will be in the ad. I'll show you in just a second. And then we sit at the detail. Uh, not a whole lot going on here, uh, other than just a, a really nice truck. Every vehicle that we get in, especially the diesel trucks. I put them up in the air. There's a four post lift behind that uh, roll up door there. And uh, pressure spray the hell out of the undercarriage. And then wait for the next day to see if we have a lot of leaking or whatever. On diesel, kind of normal to have a little bit of seeping, but not leaking. Um, that's where we discovered a drop on the ground the next day. And. That's when I decided that uh, I needed to go visit Monsoon to make sure, and sure enough, it needed valve cover gases, which is not a big deal. Um, super nice truck. Um, please go over the photos of the photo gallery. My brother will take the photos. See a little ding on the hood right here. Um, obviously, if you're looking for cosmetics, this is not a cosmetically beautiful car. I'll show you the auto check in a second. And the auto check, it says in 2006, it looks like probably when it's brand new, um, it got left rear damage, which of course is the best place to have a wreck is the rear end of a truck. So left rear. Now, it looks like really good paintwork, although there's a lot of touch up here little touch-up spots um, so maybe it really just needed a bumper who knows uh, but it looks pretty damn good so I don't know that it was any, anything serious I think it says moderate or minor or something in the uh, auto check which will be in the uh, app the auto check will be there so you'll be able to look at it yourself I'll actually run through it in just a second with you little rock chip type of thing little touch-ups not bad I mean for what you're buying here I doubt anyone's gonna care about that but I like to point it out 193,747 miles on the truck very quick to fire up which is nice Some of them like to crank forever. This one likes to start immediately. All right, let's see. Here's your auto check. So there's the VIN, okay? Uh, bu -bu, no title brands, no issues, auction issues. It says damage reported, blah, blah, blah. Everything else is good. It says 10-7 of 06. Man, this thing was brand new when they did that. Left rear, odometer, all that stuff is fine. And where do I get left rear from? Right here, 10-7. It says left rear impact with another vehicle. And that's that. Uh, la, 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 la. Fairfax, that's the government right there. That's going to be like a cop or something. Fairfax, Virginia, that's where all the spies go to get tried. And then it made, made us move to uh, Green Valley, which is a... See, right here that's a notorious uh, blue hair community here in Tucson where old people old wealthy people live and they buy vehicles to tow their trailers around anyway here's the uh, invoice there's the uh, from monsoon there's the VIN, the date of it turn signal hazard flash they call it valve cover gaskets 719 dollars and 81 cents
like I said, all this stuff will be uh, scanned in. You'll be able to see it in the ad. So just click on the link. These are for the parts. There's the valve cover gaskets. And that's the flasher. Here's the title from Trucks Only in Phoenix. Okay. From Trucks Only to Crosscut 193,728. Uh, we have we like to show everything to everybody so that there's no drama and everybody knows what's going on. Everything we know, you know. The internet's a big world. If there's something wrong, we can say there's something wrong and someone will be fine with whatever's wrong. It's whenever we leave something out that's a problem. So we go the other way. There's a Ford stamp, so you have an original fender, aftermarket airbox, cat sticker with logs, Ford stamp here, so the fenders are original, all this course support's original, which obviously matters. There's the Ford stamp on the hood, so the hood is original. Let's see how much blow-by we have, if any, none. I didn't lock the door. I've been locking myself out of the passenger side in the videos lately. I'm trying to break that habit. Door locks. Obviously, I lived inside in Maryland because this is where the rust shows up on cars, right on the bottom of the doors, especially on. Uh, Especially on the driver door, which we'll look at really carefully. I did see, I think I saw a little bit on the bottom of the tailgate. Which is very normal because a lot of people take their tailgates off and leave them in the garage. In a puddle. Yeah, from right here to here, it looks like it was touched up. This thing runs great. All right. There's your stickers where they belong. Now, this is where you look for snow damage or any kind, and there's none. There's no rust at all down here. It's always on the driver's side and the lower part of the door and the rocker moldings. Nothing. So, this thing spent some time outside. I mean, inside at night <laughs> and got cleaned a lot because it's in really good shape underneath and on the rocker moldings. Okay. Window. Window. Door locks. Seats in great shape. Cup holders even good. Usually those things are a mess by now. The AC is awesome. It's 93 here in Tucson. Here we go. About to get to 100 here in the next week or so. And then about five months, 100 degrees. All right, let's see. No sissy to cry babies allowed in Tucson for the next five months. There's your trailer stuff. Air is blowing ice cold. Let's see. Does it have a backup camera? I don't think it does have a backup camera, does it? No. No. No, but it does have a radio. Let's see. I don't even know how to work these stupid things. I suck at this stuff. I hate radios. It looks like there's a little knob missing here. I have no idea how to work this thing. But I, we always tell people who buy our vehicles, when it's an aftermarket radio, you're on your own. Just assume it's a pile of crap because they're so cheap now. There's tow, haul, on and off. Then you can replace it, get a Bluetooth, and you'll be set, and who cares what that is. Um, that's what I would do anyway if I was on this thing. Even if it would work fine. All right, so now you're in four low. Put it in drive. Okay. And reverse. This is still in four low. That's definitely granny gear. All right. Neutral. Now we're going to flip to four high. Low range goes away. Instantly becomes quicker. That's drive. And that's reverse right there. There is a star right there on the windshield. that's like way below your vision um, If you want us to put a new windshield in for that star down there 
um, add another $210. That's what we're paying for windshields right now. It used to be a, a year ago, it was $139 for a windshield. Unbelievable. Don't even get me started on that stuff. It irritates the shit out of me. The, I mean, the poop out of me. Um, anyway, all right, if you come here to Tucson, um, you will uh, have to pay the following if you're gonna drive it home. You'll pay your state tax rate, whatever that is. Could be zero, then you'll pay zero tax rate uh, from your state. Could be 10%. Whatever your state tax rate is, plus our city tax of 2.7% and a $250 dock fee. Now, if you pay by wire and ship this truck out of state, all you're gonna pay is a grid upon price and that's it. No tax, no dock fee, nothing, okay? Um, if you need help with shipping, let me know at the time of sale. Um, we can. Uh, uh, roll the price of the shipping into the price of the truck, so you just make one payment for the shipping and the truck. Um, I can arrange for the shipping to get done, or you're welcome to do the shipping yourself, obviously. We just want to make sure you get your truck as quickly as possible. You know, for an 06 extra cab, extra cabs usually rattle a lot. The doors rattle a lot. This one does not. And that the road we were on right now is just a pothole rattle, riddled mess. So um, that is a very good sign for your sanity. Uh, that's one of my biggest pet peeves with uh, any extra cab, make or model. I hate the rattles they get when they get older. This one didn't do it um, at all. Very smooth shifting. Uh, air's blowing nice and cold. Really nice truck. Um, deposit's $500. Once we have a deposit, we have a deal. Until then, it will stay for sale. So please make sure you get your deposit in, okay? Um, I have uh, the SD cards that we use give us 17 minutes and 38 seconds to do a video in. So at 1738, when I disappear, I didn't wreck, uh, I didn't get killed, I didn't run into a lake, it just ended at 17 minutes and 38 seconds. Uh, we always thought it was uh, Google limiting us on YouTube, but apparently it's just the card, somehow how it's formatted. Anyway, um, last part of every video, I said the same thing and I say it every single time and I should just hit a uh, recorder right now so I could just relax and drive. Um, we don't have salesmen, so when you buy from us, you're not paying a commission. Um, we don't have a fancy location that we pay a lot for. In fact, it's very industrial and our uncle charges a dollar a year for it. Not kidding, one dollar. Yes, he's wealthy, and uh, he does have to actually collect that dollar for his taxes. <laughs> so he, he comes in and demands his dollar check every year. So you're not paying our rent, and you're not paying for salesmen, okay? Um, also, at the auto mall, when you go there, besides paying for salesmen and rent, you're paying for people who are serving scones and lattes and coffee, and you have a game rooms at some of these places and beautiful fountains. All that stuff has to be paid for when you buy a vehicle. That's why they have to make so much money on each vehicle, right? We don't, which is why we don't have our vehicles very long, okay? Especially 6.0s. Right now, if you're looking just for a work truck, you know, type 6.0, um, that's in great shape, that'll do some work for you, this will be the one. Um, do not delay. Um, but we do have one caveat. Uh, when they, at the auto mall, sell you a used vehicle and it breaks, they have to fix it because you'll probably kill them if they don't because they paid a fortune, okay? Um, by the way, we're on I-10 right now, going uh, towards Phoenix. We just got on the Prince Road on-ramp. Now we're going on I-10 to the Ruthroff exit. We just like to show people what they do the best, which is go down the interstate. And uh, very nice ride. Anyhow, uh, when it breaks at the auto mall, they gotta fix it or you're gonna kill them. Well, we didn't charge you what they charged you. Uh, when they charge you a number for a vehicle, they include future repairs, okay? We don't include future repairs. We're giving you the bottom, bottom, bottom line. Um, we're saving you the money on all the stuff, plus, uh, but we're also requiring you to take ownership on day one. What does that mean? That means we're not fixing anything. There's not a truck on this interstate driving around or anything, it's not gonna break, okay? We just got this thing two weeks ago. We've run it through our shop, but we're not Nostradamus and neither is Monsoon. When it breaks, it breaks. And if it does, you've saved a ton of money buying from us, so use some of that money to repair it. Now, mechanically speaking, I've driven thousands of 6.0s. I know when I'm in a funky one, I know when I'm in a bad one, I know when I'm in a good one, I know when I'm a tuned one, I know when I'm in what I call an old man truck. This is an old man truck, for sure. 
uh, old man owned, probably, you know, towed the trailer, travel trailer around the Allegheny Mountains and the Poconos and all that stuff because it runs and drives great. And it's got old man tires on it, which by the way, I don't know if you saw in the video, I, if I were you, I'd probably get some tires for this thing. They're about 20% tread. Um, again, that's another thing like radios. Tires are very uh, uh, individual, all right? Some people like uh, the off-road, some people like the all-terrain, some people who are towing on the interstates just want that really good uh, you know, road tire, okay? Um, so we're not gonna, we don't do tires. You're on your own on tires, um, but uh, I would say pretty soon, you should probably get some, all right? Like I said, the videos, you know, in our video uh, uh, earlier, we tell you the good and the bad, and if we leave something out, it's because we didn't know. It's not because we're avoiding something, okay? Um, like I said also, we're not Nostradamus. We don't know when they're gonna break. If we did, we'd be rich because, you know, <laughs> buying vehicles that aren't good vehicles, I've done that a few thousand times, and then we have to spend a fortune to make them good vehicles. So, when I actually run into a really good vehicle, I know when I'm driving one and this is one of them, but who knows? You know, you never know when a window motor might go out or a mirror might stop working or an injector goes out or whatever. Good news is all that stuff is pretty cheap in a Ford. They're actually really cheap, you know, especially like injectors. You only have to do one um, instead of what, <laughs> if you have a Duramax and, it, and the scanner tells you that you need to do one, you know, oh, do number four, uh, do them all because I've never ever gotten away with that. <laughs> you do one and it throws off the balance and then the other ones come on, the lights come on and it's a mess. And that's a fortune. Uh, anyway, uh, we also have that uh, Bulletproof EGR cooler package in our ad that you'll see. Um, 2900, we can do a Bulletproof EGR cooler, a Ford oil cooler, gaskets and all that stuff. It's a smoking deal if you want it. Um, Give us, a, if you do want it, and we add that to it, the 2900 to it, please give us a couple weeks. Our shop is, you know, really, really, really good and really, really, really busy, and I only trust them doing it. So um, be patient if you're gonna go that way. That being said, with zero blow-by and the condition this thing's in, I would not do that. I would just keep changing the fluids to take care of it. Anyway, I'm just about out of time. We're at 1731, and at 1738, I'm gone. So anyway, really nice truck. Thank you.